All right, joining us from the Notre Dame Club of Indianapolis is Notre Dame alum Matt Greco. Matt, first of all, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Thank you. Good, Glad good to, be to here. have you. Well, tell us a little bit about your Notre Dame experience, Matt, and, and how you came to be involved with the Notre Dame Club of Indianapolis. Absolutely. So I grew up in Mishawaka, so my first experience with Notre Dame is through the football team. Uh, my grandpa was an usher at the stadium for over 45 years, uh, so that was the, my first introduction. Um, I, when I was a senior in high school, I started looking at them more seriously as a college. Uh, it, I fell in love with the place when I came and visited. Uh, I lived in O'Neill Hall, class of 2004, um, and, and loved my time there. Um, as far as the ND Club in Indianapolis, uh, it actually started with my wife, who took a part-time job with the club um, as their membership manager. Um, and I saw how she was involved and wanted to get involved myself, so volunteered to join the board uh, back in 2017. Um, and kind of worked through and volunteered and helped with the club and uh, the club president today. And you just said, you know, you talk about all the opportunities that, that happen when you think of the alumni clubs uh, for Notre Dame. It's a great chance to connect and socialize, but the Notre Dame Club of Indianapolis also does a lot of service work in the community. Tell us a little bit about that, maybe some of the highlight activities that your club has undertaken. Absolutely. We're very proud um, of our annual service project. It's called Shamrock Sex. Um, in 2018, we asked our local members uh, what we wanted to fight for along the lines of what the, the Notre Dame uh, University's campaign was. And they all voted to fight childhood hunger. Um, in Indianapolis, we actually have five ACE academies, um, which is one of the highest numbers in the country. And 95% of those students are on uh, free or reduced lunch. And often those meals while they're at school is the only time they have a dependable meal that they can be certain they're going to get. Um, so now every December, we pack upwards of 1,200 meals, uh, or these shamrock sacks for these students, um, filled with healthy, shelf-stable food that the kids are able to take home over Christmas break so we know they have something um, while they're at home from school. Um, last year, uh, one of the fundraisers we decided to do was called Sacks for Sacks, and thanks to Coach Freeman and all the defensive players, um, we raised over $7,000 uh, with their school record uh, number of sacks that uh, people pledged money and uh, for each sack and we just started watching the numbers grow as the season went on. Um, thanks to that, we're having a second uh, Shamrock Sacks event next Saturday uh, in conjunction with the Young ND Day of Service um, where we're also we're going to be packing sacks and we're also going to create a new nature playground um, at one of our Archdiocese of Indianapolis schools. Wow, you guys are just doing incredible work out there. Let's also talk about the club sponsoring a scholarship for Notre Dame students. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so supporting our students is a core part of our mission here in Indianapolis. Um, our scholarship fund was established back in 1937 with just $400. Um, and now we have, we've grown it considerably. Uh, we give four-year awards uh, to our local students um, who are admitted to Notre Dame who demonstrate financial need. Um, a lot of people don't know our area goes west to east across the state. So we have students from Terre Haute, we have students from Richmond, we have students from Bloomington. Uh, so they're all over central Indiana. Um, right now for this academic year, we have 73 students that we are supporting, um, which is the second largest Notre Dame scholarship program in the country. Um, and the past few years, ND Day has been our single biggest fundraiser. Um, I believe we have won the AA club size class the last three years. Um, and looking at the leaderboard, we have a little bit of work to do to catch uh, the great people in Denver, um, but we're, we're up for the challenge the rest of the day. All right, well, thank you, Matt, for all the work you're doing, and thank you, for, of course, for being here today on Notre Dame Day. All right, next, we're gonna head back out to thank Ann you. Maxfield for another great live performance.